Laura Dern, you've been here bemoaning referee decisions, bad calls all season. Did it turn around for us there today? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm not going to lie to you. The, the tension, I'm sweating palms, biting my nails from the first half. Probably the worst first half I've seen United play this season at Old Trafford. Is it expected the worst. though? With what because of the time, listen, we play more games than anybody else. We, we the, To me, I always said, it's not the Europa League per se, it's the travelling and then coming back. Look, you're not playing and I've seen the look on your face and you're tired by travelling everywhere in here. Mate. You're shattered. <laughs> I know you're shattered, right? That, yeah, Just by going it. over <laughs> and flying back, right? But Marco Silva, Fulham, that was the gift that honestly, we, none of us expected that gift. But thank you so much for that charity. It was like New Year, Christmas, birthday. It's my birthday on Tuesday. Happy I'm birthday. telling you, that was the best birthday present I've had going to the semi-final of the FA Cup. What was the more inexplicable red card there? The deliberate handball when you're still in the game, which you know you're going to get a red card for. The manager or Mitrovic? What Mate, was... pick, honestly, you either pick... You know, you know where I sit in it, Adam? Yeah. Just, just a bit of the tunnel, right? S20. I'm in line, dead in line with Sancho. I'm all, come on, Sancho, gets around the goalkeeper. Literally did that. He literally did that. And I said straight away, I screamed, red card, penalty. They are taking his time. But then their manager, I can see to him down losing his head when the referee goes to the monitor. And then red card, Mitrovic. And it's like, you know what? Oh my beer. Oh my beer. <laughs> Dude, I want to give the best gift to Man United. He come, red card. And then he goes for the ref. He goes for the ref. Mate, Fulham Football Club, thank you so much. Because honestly, I do not know how we were going to get back into that game. Well, I do not know. Here's one for you then. I, I do just, not know. I just said this myself. So people can say that the red cards and everything changed it there. But the substitution bringing massively, Anthony on from massively, McTominay. Massively. Bruno's ball to him. His involvement. Massively. It's 1 1. If Willian doesn't do that's his it. craziness and we've got momentum. This is it. You can't really and, and, take so, that away. That, that, that's it. You know what? In that moment, yeah, Bruno back with Sabitza in midfield. Both of them can keep the ball in, in a sense. Bruno creating stuff from deeper. Definitely, that changed the game slightly. But they lost their heads and they made it so easy. And then we just go out there from the kickoff. Did we, we just score, didn't we? Straight after we score. But for me... I look at it today, I think a lot of people say Maguire defended well. He, to me, I don't think he defended that well. But on the ball, Adam, please let people know, right, when, they're not, when you're watching it at home and you're not at the stadium, amount of times when he gets the ball and the whole section starts moaning, whole stand starts ah, screaming at him, it's embarrassing. Just get rid of the ball. One touch, one touch, keep it moving. I just don't see it. I understand. Sometimes in midfield, nobody's coming short. Nobody wide is going at wide. There's no movement because everybody's tired. But please, Maguire, shift that ball. It don't take two. It don't take you four, five, sec, 10, sec, 15 seconds to move the ball. One touch out of your feet. Just keep it moving. He don't do that. And he dictated the way we played. Him and McTominay in that team today to battle in the air. Apparently, their goal was fouling, loads of fouling in, in the corners, Not them safe, holding, yeah, yeah. them holding people from the, from the set pieces. But Sancho, frustrating at times, it was a goal. I like the composure that he's got. And that's what we need to do is get him in in the last third a lot more because he's one guy who's really composed in the last third. He can keep it. And, and the biggest thing is that William, mate, goal goes in, it's one all. You still got 11 against 11. You've been a better team all day because you've had a week rest. You've not played as much as Man United. But their manager, mate, honestly, head's gone. Yeah. Head's gone. He's, I'm not going to lie to you. I started to try to get people around me saying, he's going to cry in a minute. He's going to cry in a minute. Mate, he's an absolute he's lunatic. Cry. And he sets the precedent for the rest of the team. And then it's like straight away, your man at the top is losing the plot. The foot soldiers what, are going to follow, mate. And then he's arguing with Ten Hag. And Ten Hag is just telling him, listen, it's handball. Yeah. It's, a pen it's a penalty and a red card. That's the rules. I don't make the rules. But he's still arguing with him. Yeah. And then he's walking out of the tunnel. He stops. Try to do some tactical. Mate, it's surreal. But you know what? It was the gift that we needed. But Adam, all season I've dealt with bad refereeing decisions. So I'm not giving that Muppet any, anything. Because at the end of the day, they insulted him, they lost their heads, and he had to send them off. And that was a, but to me, the idea that you're gonna take VAR when we all can see is a penalty and a red card. I don't know what you what what we're doing. I do not know what we're doing. 
I just, I'm just talking to somebody. Those players are going on an international break. I hope that break is just a mental and physical away from Manchester, away, just away, in a sense. But I just hope they're not, in they're international managers. I hope they're not going to be starting them for 90 minutes. No. Because Man United are players are playing more games than anybody else in the top five leagues. We need these guys. Treat these away international breaks as a holiday. That's what they need to do. Hopefully, mate. No, That's didn't. what they do. We got Brighton. Yeah. Big pitch Wembley. They're a very good team. Gonna but for me, game. Adam, I told you, when things like that start happening, so our man. name, our name might be, might be on that cup, mate. And I don't care who we play, wherever. You know what I mean? Whether it's Brighton, City, I don't care because we're in a semi-final and we just got to have to play it out. But let's just hope, Adam, we come back after the, after the break rejuvenated because at the moment, mate, it, mate. honestly, we are on our knees, mate, in terms of energy. But up the Reds, Fulham, you've lost your heads. Honestly, head's gone. Head's gone. Head's gone. Head's gone. Head's gone.